Hello, my name is Cindy Rang. I'm Brianna Matskis, and today's Fabric Chat. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> so we know you're not going to hear a word we say. <laughs> We've got Maisie. <laughs> Little Maisie May. And she's not a fan of Nana's bang. She's judging me. She judges me all the time. She but just looks at my bangs and she smiles and she looks at them again and then she smiles and it's like, why are you doing that? <laughs> so she may look at Anna the whole time. Says, I don't know what you got growing out of your forehead. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to be equally distracted. We love her. She's smiling so much and cooing yeah, she is. some. And what's really fun is she wrinkles her nose when she smiles. Yeah. Which I don't think that's something that anybody else does. I mean, yeah. I have this weird little, I don't know what side it's on. I have a weird little wrinkle somewhere in my nose or something. That hers are hers, hers really is cute. cute. Mine is annoying. <laughs> but she has this cute little nose ring. You'll see it for sure. She's pretty cute. <laughs> She's just so content. She's just, it's all yeah. that holding that we do. She's perfectly, <laughs> perfectly good. I'm going to have to bring, like, she has like a uh, booba seat. I think it's what it's called, or a boomba or something. Booba. Um, I don't, boomba. Maybe there's an M. Is there an M in it? Um, that I'll have her sit up. I might still have to bring my little, um, like, nursing pillow just to <coughs> help support her a little more. But she really likes to sit up and watch and see what everybody's doing and get fascinated by something. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it. I know. <laughs> I know. I'm going to have to go give it. her to Tracy. I know. All right. I'm going to try to not look at her. <laughs> So, um, <clears throat> let's start by answering some questions because, um, that was something that somebody had said that they loved, uh, watching her and listening to her little sounds. Yeah. Um, and so many people, oh, I love, I love looking at her. I love looking at her. So you guys, um, comment on that all the time. The other kind of, um, funny thing was that when... I think on Sunday we said that it was uh, that we would change our box openings to chatter box openings and <laughs> everybody loved it. And somebody said, who was it, said, um, oh, Luann said, let's be honest, sometimes when a fabric line is not for me, I fast forward through the fabric to get back to the chatter. <laughs> I bet. There you go. There you go. Because I think it is fun. And then so many people said, too, well, we are friends. And we really yeah. do feel like that. And I think it's kind of funny, but um, I feel like I keep getting myself into trouble because there was somebody else that I was emailing. I was going to look at her name because we, we, we don't know how to pronounce your names. We don't know mm -hmm. what you look like. So we have our own little friendly names. It's like my friend um, Joan Pergola. Not even remotely her name. Yeah. It's kind of like that. But if that's the first thing that you see when you yeah. see her name, it's like, well, that's what she is. And everybody knows Joan Pergola, my movie friend. And um, and then now there's this new one. And um, her, and it's something about her email address. And in my mind, it's Yo-Yo Mama. That's not it. But I always <laughs> worry a little bit that that's, I'm going to, you know. Because who is it that we get caught all the time? Kathy. Um, no, who is it? Um, um, oh shoot, she's coming to a couple of the retreats and we call her by where she lives. Clarkston. Oh, yeah, yeah, Tracy. Tracy, that's she's right. She's from Tracy Town. That's right. But she is, she's, uh, Clark. That's yeah, her last name. name is Clark, but it's, yeah, it's Tracy Town. Yes, yeah. I can never <laughs> think of her name. I can never think of her name because we've had it wrong for too long. Yeah. Because we think of you from, as where you live or your email mm -hmm. address or your you know, whatever. So anyway, but so forgive us. And it's just so nice because now what's happening is, um, so many of you guys are signing up for a retreat. Yeah. I'm so excited. I've been slowly catching up on, I mean, I've sent everybody like their first retreat now. I mean, their information now we're sending out the other stuff about, you know, flights and that sort of thing. And so we keep kind mm -hmm. of chatting back and forth, but, and as there are, um, 
people who've had to cancel for different things. We're getting other people on, so it's cool. really, really nice. But um, but super excited that we're finally going to be able to put a yeah. face with a name. Because Marianne Camus, I can't remember. There was always something that we were calling her also. And now we know her. I have a face. Yeah. I know exactly how to pronounce her last name. And so now we have her name her name correctly. So I'm just going to have to meet my friend Joan Pergola so that I can stop <laughs> calling her that. Um, and speaking of that, I was going to say, oh, movies, just for one little second. Um, she's my friend who always will tell me what movie to watch. Do you know about Cocaine Bear? No. Okay. I'm not going to say that I'm recommending it because I don't know, but it's this whole big thing. And did you say that it's playing in our theater? No, I, mean, I don't hardly know anything. That way. Okay, no, nah, I don't you know, know anything. anything. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this. It's kind of a funny thing. It is a B movie. It's just a B, mm -hmm. you know, low budget, low everything. But the producer and the director of it is, um, dang it, I knew I was going to forget her name. Um, shoot, Elizabeth Banks. Oh, you know her. Elizabeth Banks was the one that was the judge on all of the um, Pitch Perfect. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And she was in yes, yes. Hunger Games. Yes, yeah, she's got so it. stinking funny. I love her. So, so <laughs> she's my favorite character. I in love Games. her. <laughs> I love her. I loved her in Hunger Games, and I really loved her in Pitch Perfect. She's yeah. just so snarky. Yeah, she's, she's hilarious. hilarious. She's such a good comedian. I really, really like her, and she's very kind. I mean, not that I know, but I mean, I'm just gonna believe what I read. But anyway, I really like her. So anyway, what happened is this. You're very mesmerized by this story. Tell well, me, let me tell you. <laughs> well, what happened is there's a true story back in 1985 when some drug dealer hid a whole bunch of stolen cocaine in this, I don't know, a cabin, I guess, in the woods, like millions of dollars worth of cocaine. This is all mm -hmm. true. And a bear, a black bear got into it. Oh. Yeah. That's where the story ends. <laughs> I don't know that anybody really knows what happened to that poor bear. I'm guessing <laughs> it was not good. <laughs> We don't have to think about that, but anyway, I'm not sure what happened to the bear. That's all we really know about the story. Well, she just took that little snippet of a story and she turned it into a movie. Awesome. And she turned it into this <laughs> this bear. This and it's like a raging. It's a, they're, they're calling it a horror comedy. <laughs> <laughs> that is two very odd things. With I don't horror. know what that is. I feel like Scream is I, I, like that. Like it's yeah. so shtick <laughs> that it's funny. That's what I think it is because Elizabeth Banks is so funny. She's funny. She's so funny that I kind of want to see it. Well, the funny thing when they were talking about it, and the big thing, the reason that they started talking about it is that it was like one of the last oh. movies that Ray Liotta was in. You know who oh. he is. You know Ray Liotta passed away. Yeah. Yeah. yeah super, I like him. He was always a really good bad guy. Yeah. Um, and I think also very nice in real life because I saw a thing on him once. Um, I don't know, he bought somebody else's house or whatever and they were always out there and they on you know, like the Hollywood tours and they thought it was somebody else's house and anyway. Anyway, he's he was a really nice guy. Well he's in this movie and he plays the drug kingpin. Uh -huh. So they waited to release it and then they released it in his honor to honor him. Um, to do a little tribute to him. And so now it's getting like all of this publicity, oh. even though it's kind of like a little, you know, I'm thinking that the special effects of the bear are probably not great. I mean, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. But now I, now I kind of really <laughs> want to see it. So anyway, so speaking of movies, anyway, it made me think of it because when we drove through town, I mean, we tiny little town and tiny little theater and yeah. we have cocaine bear. That's cool. I kind of feel like I might. I feel nervous though if I say to dad that I want to go to a movie and I pick that. I think he I might stay awake for it though. If it's a horror comedy. Oh my gosh, horror comedy. I don't even know what that <laughs> even means. Maybe there's guns and shoot 'em ups and then there's probably a I whole lot of I think the bear's jokes. gonna eat everybody. He's gonna get the munchies, man. I don't know. Do Does you get munchies get... on cocaine? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know what happens. I was just gonna tell you. Yeah. Us. Yeah. But what happens? Hot bear would have probably been better. <laughs> And maybe there'll be a sequel. Yeah. The pot raccoon. Yeah. Oh, now I'm getting in trouble again. Anyway, anyway, I'm See, not. There's no I'm such not... thing as a as a bear week. You know, a shark week. They turn it all into you know. I know because shark and... week is so fun because it's so ridiculous. Yeah. I... All of those movies for I a whole know. week are just yeah the craziest thing. And I kind of think, think of. that this is gonna kind of be like that. But anyway, I really uh -huh. want to see it. That's somebody good. else go watch it for me first. And tell me <laughs> what to watch it. 
I feel like because movies are so expensive. I think like, yeah, I feel like we talked about this mm -hmm. not too long ago. So expensive to go to a movie that for me, I have to I have to laugh. It's not it one has of those... to be that kind of entertaining. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have to, it either has to be something that you can only see on the big screen, you know, because yeah. of the effect, you know, I'm not a Star yeah, Wars kind of person. King Kong. Oh, we did see that on the big screen. Big that bugs. Gross. Real big bugs. So <laughs> gross. <laughs> I've never had to watch it again. No, good. <laughs> I'm totally burnt good. Burnt in there. Totally good. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so but I, yeah, I, I, I don't know if I'm ready to invest that much money. I might wait for Netflix or something. But anyway, Joan, go check that out. <laughs> Let us know. Inquiring minds want yeah. to know. I know it's that hard thing because I know that used to be our fun thing to do on like a Friday night is go out with all of our friends, yeah. go to a movie, get a booth, get a couple pizzas and just watch a movie. But mm -hmm. now it's not, you know, five bucks to get in. No. And popcorn and even a pop. Mm-hmm. I, I keep thinking Which, the other night I need to go and just get popcorn because there's nothing better than fresh made. Their popcorn is really good. Theater popcorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. We were trying to support them during the pandemic. You know, they couldn't be open. And so, mm -hmm. and our little theater also has a pizza, pizza thing. And so they were selling, you got a large pizza, a large popcorn, mm -hmm. and two movie candies for whatever it was. It was it's like a, good a crazy deal. good deal. Mm -hmm. I don't remember what it was. So we did that. We thought, oh, well, we'll just do that every Friday night and we'll support you. So we did. But the problem was that a lot of their candy is old. It yeah, was old. Real because, old. I mean, they've been closed for a while when they... But, figured, but we didn't care. Yeah. We supported them anyway. Because my kids will eat anything. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> God. it. <laughs> sorry. I'm not sure if I should be mad about that or not. Dang it. Mom, I to defend myself. <laughs> Sorry. We should not be talking with our hands. She's not sure if she's going to be a... <laughs> she doesn't know if she's mad or not. I love happened? her expression. <laughs> Did you guys look? She's looking at him like, you guys see that? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? Yeah. Sorry, honey. But yeah, my kids will eat anything. Stale. <laughs> Stale. <laughs> yeah, they didn't care. The kids Melted. still ate it. Yeah. yeah. It didn't matter. Yeah. All right, let's see. I feel like I digressed a whole bunch there. Um, oh, we were going to talk about comments, and I don't know how I got off on that, but <laughs> I don't know what other comments were there. There were some really good ones, but, um, oh, yeah, this is one, Teresa. A lot of people said this. Um, I love listening to Maisie make her little sounds. Yeah, she's and got she cute was sounds. cooing, and yeah, that's true. Um, oh, okay, so Batik, a lot of conversations about Batik, um, uh, they liked the information about Batik and Flatfold, but a couple of people said it's not the, it's not the feel that they don't like, they just don't like the look of it. Oh! I, it looks a little, you know, I don't know, they described it different ways. Like tie dye you know, or Tie-dye hippie-ish. It, it kind of does. It has a little bit it's of not a different a clear look to image. it. That makes sense. It's not a clear image. It's not, mm -hmm. you know... And and I think that that's true. You know, yeah. Donna. Your never dots liked it. aren't clear. They're gonna be yeah. a kind of wobbly. Yeah, drip dot. It is certainly an aesthetic. That makes sense. You know sense. that there's certain things that because there's a there's a type of fabric that I don't care for. Um, eye cat. Do you guys know what that is? Okay. That's that sort Distress of stress. It's the line, line that is like bajiggity. And I don't know if you. I might have to show you tonight what it is. For some reason, we might reason, not have any. We don't. We might buy not it. have any. I don't like it. If there is anything like in a line, it's like, she, oh, I we don't, don't like eye cat. Yeah, and it's um, it's I K A T. You can look it up. What it is, and it's a, and I think a lot of people do like it. I mean, I see it a lot. It mm -hmm. seems to be apparently popular, but it I don't I don't know why I don't care for it. It's mm -hmm. like the only fabric that I don't like. I my favorite is of course floral. Mm -hmm. I love bright. I love I I don't know. I love all of it. I love the low volume, you know, stuff. I love birds. I love I love dinosaur fabric. Love glow in the dark. I love, love the tea. Man. I, know, <laughs> tea like your I love the tea. <laughs> that makes sense. I guess I didn't even think about that. But of course, you know, everything is yeah. taste related if you like it, if you don't. And that makes sense. If it goes with who you're making it for or for yeah. your own you know, and if it's something that I learned when we used I used to do custom quilting for people when I was younger and make quilts for somebody that I learned real quick that 
I will help you pick out colors or we'll work together to get colors. Because um, if you're not a quilter and you don't understand, you're just going to pick the five favorite colors of your niece and, oh, you make a quilt for me. Oh, well, not quite how it works. Or it's one of those, even if it's a beautiful fabric, they did a great job picking out colors and values and everything, and it's just not my thing. It takes a lot of, you know, dedication to get myself to the sewing room, to cut that fabric, to sew that quilt. So it does make it important that what you're working on you enjoy. Yeah. Otherwise it's going to become that UFO in the bottom of the drawer that someday you're probably going to give away to a charity or disperse right. it and disband it. But yeah, that's... That's right. You gotta like it. Otherwise, it's hard to sew. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> they, they don't know what no, we just said. they had no idea. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> we're gonna swim in Yeah, they were. <laughs> <laughs> she could just have her own channel. She could. We'll just stream the baby. Yeah. They were showing, oh my gosh, so the snowstorm, so we got snow. Um, mm -hmm. again yesterday and and it's not even spring yet and it kind of makes sense that um, that uh, we're still getting snow and we're not really complaining about it but I saw that there was what like 14 different states yeah they got that pummeled. kind of got pummeled and so there's this live stream of this eagle that is in California and she has one egg and so they've been watching this egg mm -hmm. and so because they showed and they said even whatever her name was you know Baldy the Eagle, whatever her name was, uh, uh, was hunkered down in the snow. And so all you could see was like this mound. And mm -hmm. I thought, well, what are we even looking at? And then all of a sudden she stands up and spreads her wings and all of the snow comes off and there's that little egg. Oh, she kind of shakes a little bit. That's, that's cute. That's a good mom right there. That is. Mm -hmm. That's a really good mom. Those live stream things though, I, I can't do that. It's too stressful for me to, yeah. to worry, you know that something is going to happen. I mean, I really liked watching, gosh, a couple years ago, um, they had a giraffe that was ready to give birth. Oh, yeah. That, that one was pretty was fun cool. Because nothing bad was going to happen. She was in the zoo. Good. Everybody was watching her, and we were all watching, and yeah, it was that all one good. Was cool. But the wildlife things, oh, it makes me a little You never nervous. know when the cocaine bear is going to show up. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's this other thing. Because sometimes I'm on, I'm, I'm not a great Facebooker. So those of you that follow us on Facebook or Instagram, I apologize. Um, so I'll try to remember to put something, but I sometimes get a little lost or I do it wrong. But if you send me a picture and I share it, you know, so I'm on there some, but oftentimes I'll go and kind of see what other people are doing. And every once in a while you get to those spots where you can watch like a couple of little videos and I don't know what they are. They're like YouTube shorts or maybe um, TikTok videos or Facebook shorts. I'm not sure what they are, but sometimes they're kind of fun. So along the same line, I was watching this one. I should find it and send it and put it at the end. This is the cutest little thing. So it's a story about this frog. Mm -hmm. There's this guy who has like this 3D printer. He's like an engineer or something. And he noticed that there was a little frog living in his um, fence post. Oh, so he built him a house. Well, then the frog didn't like the house. Okay. So they built him a house with a pool. <laughs> oh, okay, well, then he needed this, and then he needed this, oh, and then a possum cool. came. Oh. Uh oh. So I had to have an escape hatch, and then, you know, anyway, it's it's cute. It's it's cute for a couple of reasons. I mean, number one, to show that other people are as crazy, you know, <laughs> and um, and also that everybody else was watching this, and, um, and also to see what he did with this little 3D printer. Yeah, he That's has cool. all along his fence, he has these little condos and all these frogs, so. That's cool. I'll find it, and we can link it. It's the fun things that you find to Well, it would be us, a good you know? thing to keep your frogs happy and housed, because they're going to keep all those bugs away from vegetables, keep the frogs grass clean. and bees. Yeah. They're good We've convention. had less frogs lately. I know. It's upsetting. Less frogs and less bees. Mm. Partly because of pesticides and yeah. herbicides. So we need to be careful with that. Um, also on the... Did you notice I'm wearing lipstick today? I didn't notice. I don't often wear lipstick. I rarely do. I used to have a boss that told me all the time, just put on lipstick. Just make sure you put on lipstick. That was like... She kept it in the her whole lab coat. Thing. I all did. The time. I did. I always had lipstick. I was supposed to always. She had like she three sticks of the same shade. One at home. Mm -hmm. One in her car. One in her coat. Yeah. I always had it because 
it bothered it, female boss, but that's what she said. You just have to have lipstick on. And so it was a funny thing because, again, Facebook knowledge. I feel so much more educated now that I <laughs> scroll through Facebook to see what's real. <laughs> but there's this app because you know what catfishing is, right? You yes. know what catfishing is when mm -hmm. somebody pretends to be somebody and that's not who they are and they have some weird picture and anyway. Yes. Oh, mm -hmm. if only I had money to move to be closer to you, my love. You yeah. know, whatever. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so they have these filters where it kind of looks like you, but not really at all. And there's this one. It's called Glamour. Um, it's, call, it's called Glamour. And then for a guy, it's called Bold Glamour. And so here's the tidbit of information that's kind of cool about this, is that it kind of looks like you, but what it does for a woman is it accents the cheekbones makes your eyes a little bit bigger and smooths out your skin. Mm -hmm. What it does for the guy, smooths out your skin, skin, makes darker eyebrows and gives you a bold, square jaw. And what it does for both, can you guess? Brightens your lips. Fuller lips. Oh, fuller lips. Sure. Fuller lips, because I don't know why that's a thing, but it's supposed to be a thing, that that's that. It's what we see if we're like attracted to somebody or whatever, I don't know. I mean. Pa has no lips at all. <laughs> Very thin lips. So I don't know, but that's the whole thing is fuller lips. And so you're supposed to, and that was what Sarah used to have. Just put some lipstick on. If you don't have time for anything else, just put your lipstick, lipstick on. Yeah. So today, at least for a moment, I have on some lipstick. Well, I have on other makeup too, but normally my lipstick is all over my <laughs> coffee cup. <like. laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't reply. Mm -hmm. All right. I think that's the extent of what I know about Facebook and my knowledge for the day. <laughs> it seemed like there was something else, but I don't remember what it was. Um, but this was kind of funny. So um, my friend Allie, so not not Callie Allie, sorry, from California, but Yo Mama uh, Allie uh, sent this. So this was in response to Pa using the shampoo. Dog, yeah. <laughs> the dog shampoo. So there was a sign at this veterinary clinic Ax and I'm just going to replace one word. Hey. Accidentally used the dog shampoo. Now I'm feeling like such a good boy. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. I know, that's really funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You're such a good boy. <laughs> I can't say that to him. <laughs> no. I would probably oh, yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> He'd pour a little special pad of concrete just for you. Oh, <laughs> you'd be in trouble. <laughs> no, rip out some tree. <laughs> um, all right, so uh, let's talk about uh, the national days because today, March, March 1st, 1st, is what? What is this month? It's quilting month. It's National Quilting yeah. Month. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the it's funny quilting. thing that I just want to mention is that when I go on this National Days website... Do they not know? No. Of course they don't. They believe that it's National Crochet Month, which I also believe that. They don't know anything else. Hmm. I know I'm a little disappointed in this, but it's okay because there's a whole lot of things. So I'm just going to show you here. For the month or for the day? Well, both. Both. Um, yeah, it's kind of busy. So March. <clears throat> so today is National Quilting Month, despite what these guys say. And I think the 18th is National Quilting Day. day. And so our newsletter, I think it's due to go out today, but it's not quite ready. So yeah. this week it'll go out. And we do have some fun things planned for National Quilting Month. And so um, uh, we'll share uh, those things with you. That's kind of cool. But um, the other thing today, oh, here, let me let this load. I'll tell you what the months are here in just a second. But um, today is Baby Sleep Day. Baby Sleep Day? What? D. I don't know. It's International Ideas Month. I think that's good. I'm always full of ideas. I know. It's I'm the execution I fail at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got lots of ideas. Yeah. <laughs> Today is National Hotel Slipper Day. What is that? Hotel Should I click slipper. on it and see? I mean, I do take my slippers oh. to the hotel, but I wouldn't like them I longer. take my slippers to the hotel, but I think the hotels where they give you those slippers, I hate those. They're yeah. like, mm -mm. I don't even ever put them on. We bet you didn't know that you needed to thank Justin Bieber for the existence of National Hotel Slipper Day. Mm. 
it was because of his love for the comfortable footwear and inspired by a collection of widely publicized paparazzi photographs of the singer spotted wearing them. Okay. I don't okay. know. Um, I'm over that one. So it's only been a thing for, what, 10 years, maybe? I'm kind of, yeah. I don't know. It doesn't really count, Bieber. <laughs> this is a good one. It's National Peanut Lovers Day. Oh, that's good. That's oh, good. I, I missed a word. National Peanut Butter Lovers Day. Hey, that's okay too. <laughs> that's okay too. I still I like, like peanut butter. butter. I love. Oh, honey, what's happening? She's getting all sleepy. Yeah, she is. Oh, she said I need to snuggle a little bit. You need to snuggle a little bit. Oh, this mama Jiggle. can't get comfortable. <laughs> oh, oh, honey. Oh, your hands One are cold. moment. <laughs> oh, there we go. There you go. We're that's good. all I needed. You're good. <laughs> That's Done it. visiting. <laughs> okay, National Peanut Butter Lovers Day. That's really good. It is National Pig Day. Pig Day? Who doesn't like some pork bacon? Or <laughs> Those cute little curly tails. It's all about eating. It's, it's probably not. <laughs> They're cute, though. <laughs> they, are cute. <laughs> they are cute. Those people, I know people with pet pigs, and the pigs are super cute, and they're super, super smart, but, you know, no matter how much you bathe them, they still smell like a pig. They, yeah. They mm -hmm. are stinky critters. Mm -hmm. I mean, mm -hmm. Lizzie is smelling not great right now, so <laughs> That's like, I probably shouldn't say anything oh. about long-haired, <laughs> stinky dog. Um, today is also National Sage Day. Not sage the spice, but sage as in, you know, wisdom. Oh, okay. So, listen to my words mm -hmm. today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is a plan a solo vacation day. I don't know about myself. Don't do that. Don't go by yourself. No. In fact, let's just pause for a moment. <laughs> brings me too. It brings me too. <laughs> it's always something, but I digress. Right? <laughs> so I think that there are a lot of people that travel alone. Partly, I mean, mm -hmm. if your partner doesn't want to go or you no longer have a partner or never did or, you know, for whatever reason, yeah. I think there's a lot of people. And that's why the travel groups are so much fun. You know, Virginia oh. does that all the time. Every year she goes on some special vacation and it's always with mm -hmm. you know, maybe a friend that she knows, maybe somebody else who does it and she's going to hook up with them because they're from Colorado or whatever. Mm -hmm. And maybe she just meets somebody new. It works really nice because you're in a protected group. You're with people who know you. You don't have to worry about, you know, all of the arrangements. Somebody's taking care of it. And you don't have to worry about who you're going to dine with, what are you going to talk about, right. you know, all of that kind of stuff. So there's a lot of people that do it. And that's why, too, with us, you know, we, every year we do something. Uh, I think this year we're doing two things because we're going to Iceland this month. And then we're doing our Columbia River cruise, uh, where you guys are going to come hang out with us. We're going to take you over, get on the river, and we're going to tell you all about the river. Um, wine country, Lewis and Clark territory, um, fish, Native Americans. There's a lot of, it's, it's a beautiful river, beautiful, mm -hmm. beautiful area. So we're doing that. And then I think we've pretty much decided yeah. where we're going in 2024. We want to go to Bali. We want to do that, and we want to do it near the first part of the year because it's less expensive. And so um, that's what we think we're going to do, and we're going to do it on a cruise, and it's going to be super, super affordable. So that's why we do it is we think there's a lot of people that, same thing. It's like, oh, I do want to come out and come to a retreat, yep. meet some people. We'll pick you up at the airport, have fun with us, meet some new friends, um, or come on a cruise with us, or do both. Lots of people do both. So... Anyway, that's why we do that. So that whole plan a solo vacation, today's the day. There you go. I wonder if Ray and John know that. They might not, because they are partying Disneyland. They're in Disneyland right now. Hmm. Hmm. Are they aware? They should be working. Today <laughs> is National Plan a Solo Trip. Okay, since they're not working, you call me. I got you. You can either do the Columbia River Cruise, come up, we'll find a retreat for you. Just come mm -hmm. up and stay. We've got a we condo got a place for you. you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll help you. A friend just some friends. Yeah. Not that you probably need any, but, you know. Well, I think that's the whole thing is that, you know, I mean, same thing like with movies. It's not like I couldn't go to a movie by myself, but I want somebody to laugh with, you know. Right. I think right. I would be stared at a lot because I laugh a lot. I'm very loud. You're yeah, very yeah, loud. <laughs> our husbands don't like to go to movies with us. Yeah, Robert has apologized in the movie theater for me. Sorry for her. <laughs> <laughs> that was before he realized it could not be helped. No. <laughs> then he married me anyways. 
Jan says she's a loud laugher also. Oh, fabulous. Still it's fit okay. right you in. Can't help it. And Roseanne is a loud laugher. Yeah. Yeah. She might be louder than me. Yeah. Maybe. We couldn't sit together in church. Nope. <laughs> All right. Um, today is also share a smile day. Share a smile. That should be every Aww. day. It should be every day. We don't need one day for day. that. Yeah, I don't know. It's also world compliment day. Always a good thing to do. It should be every day. It should be every day. Tell someone you know, that's so you like your hair. I know. I do that all mm -hmm. the time. Just walking in the store or whatever. It's like, oh, pretty, pretty sweater. Oh gosh, mm -hmm. I love your hair. Or, oh wow, that's a gorgeous color of hair or mm -hmm. whatever. I mean, I'll, I'll say stuff like that all the time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think that that's nice. You don't have to know somebody. I mean, you know, yeah. Um, this one I had to look up. It's yap day. I don't know what a yap is. I know, right? I'm thinking yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> it's not that. It's not Y U P, it's Y A P, and it is a country. Oh, Yap really? Day is celebrated um, on March first in Yap State, one of the four states that make up the Federated States of Micronesia. Interesting. I had no idea. Nor did I. Cool. All right. So that's what Yap Day is, and um, Sorry. let's see. So. Oh, um, so the months, did I get to the months yet? I thought I said one up at the beginning. Oh, here we are. It's Academy Awards month. It's Adopt a Rescued Guinea Pig month. Oh, guinea pig. Do they need to be rescued? Do you think people get guinea pigs and then they don't want them anymore? Can't you just like give it to a friend? Doesn't everyone want a guinea pig? <laughs> I mean, you think so. <laughs> right? <laughs> Interesting. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, know. I don't know if I know anybody with a guinea pig. Do you? No. Even as of growing up with friends, did any of your friends have guinea pigs? Uh-uh. No, I think that we were farm kids though. We're farm kids. We'd we had chickens pigs. and cows and pigs, real yeah. pigs. We would be teased probably for having a guinea pig. And occasionally they actually... we even had hamsters. Uh uh. We had mice. I mean not as pets. Well we did. You did? Well, yeah. Sound whispering. <laughs> we had a we were, fish when, three times until Squishy ate them three times. Yeah, you did. Let I go. Know. Thanks for that. I'd have to go buy a new one before they got home from school. <laughs> then we finally realized Squishy was... <laughs> I'm done! We were, yeah, we were done feeding Squishy expensive fish. <laughs> squishy was the cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that may not be funny. If that was traumatizing, I'm sorry. Yeah, it was bad. Okay, back to the whole pet okay, back to the mice. Pet mice. So here's the deal. So back in the, I don't know what this was, I guess it would have been the 70s uh, before child labor laws <laughs> when it was okay for us to work all the time. Um, what we would do in the summertime is we would drive combine. Mm -hmm. You know, so we would go out and I don't remember what minimum wage was. It wasn't very much and we worked um, hard all summer long. And what would happen on your combine is you would see pe the, the seagulls travel yeah. behind you because of course you're chopping up the yeah. mice, and then they go down and they eat them. But every once in a while, you would find one that was kind of like on the bed. Well, what do Mom. most? You would stop. Stop. Rescue. Same thing. Put him in my little lunchbox. <laughs> Save no. him. No. He was going to be eaten by the birds. So then, <laughs> what do you do with them? You put them in a box <laughs> with some holes in them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so gross! I know it. Oh like I know god. there are people that have pet mice. I mean, I think the white mice with the you know red I eyes think are it's cool it. and sketch at the same time. I think that but they have them just to feed to their snakes. I don't think. I don't think. Uh, I don't. Do you think people really have pet? Mice? Well, Christina had um, Aunt Chrissy had a tarantula as a pet. Yeah, that's remember gross that? Too. Yeah, that's my sister. So, I mean, there's got to be people that have mice. See, you can't judge me for having pet but mice. But rats. Somebody has a pet spider. I think they probably have rats. We, we have like a rat big, too. a no. big mouse. Not your little combine mice. I know. <laughs> That's just, hey, if your mama found out, you're going to get paddled. Well, <laughs> she did. Where about all the rats gone? So then I was letting them go. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. And where did they want to go? Right back in the back, back, back of <laughs> Oh. oh, my 
my brother, in. bless his heart, my older brother, um, he was the one that would drive because <laughs> I was too young to drive, and he knew what was in my lunchbox. <laughs> He never have you got told. Home? He never that told. That would be Wyatt and Harper. I gotta talk to he, Wyatt about yes. about some of the trigger that you need to watch for. If Harper's <laughs> putting animals in her lunch bag, we need to know. Saving the field mice. We need to know. <laughs> or go put them in the shed and let us know. know. There's a special box of Harper's <laughs> under my bed. <laughs> oh ew! Ew! Oh. <laughs> thought about that in a very long time. <laughs> it's best we not bring this and up around that. that. <laughs> <laughs> he already knows when it comes to animals. It's That's like, where uh, it started. Yeah, the I love That's of animals. That's where it started. Yes. Mice in the box under her that bed. That is where it started. Oh, that's hilarious. All animals. Yeah, big and small. I don't limit my love. Nope. No. <laughs> that's good. <Sorry. laughs> Uh, I was a long time ago. I was a uh, child. <laughs> Didn't know child. better. So, and it today <laughs> is National Adopt a Rescued Guinea Pig Month. There you go. And, and really, mice. it should be any, mice. any rescue animal. Adopt a rescue animal. Yes. Big rescue and from small. The clutches of the seagulls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think you have to, I think now people who are selling mice or whatever, um, you can't go to a pet store anymore to, oh. you know, buy things to feed to your snake. You actually have to go to, like, Petco and special order in your live stuff. Yes. Yeah. Gross. Oh, I but. just could never do that. I mean, I may have a snake that I would love. I mean, I'm sure that He'd people He'd be vegetarian, do. though? Well, I just don't <laughs> think I could do that. Yeah, I know. I don't think I could, oh, sorry, honey, and I, oh... Uh, never. Yeah. No, mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to watch it. I wouldn't want to know about it. I wouldn't want to sell you the mice that you could go do. I just wouldn't want any part of it. I just... Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to know. Mm -mm. I mean, I don't want a snake. I don't want a mouse. No, I just don't want anything gruesome. Mm -hmm. All vegan animals for me. <laughs> <laughs> Growing up, we did have someone, a friend who had a lizard. What lizard? Cause the only thing I remember, like I don't even remember who it was, how old it was, or whatever. Um, but oh, I remember. There were, it ate cricket, crickets. It ate crickets, and it was one that if it got too afraid, it lost its tail. Yes, who and was she had, that? This one had lost its tail. It was and going through deshedding, and they'd have to help it shed. And it was growing back its tail. Was it Chrissy? Was it Chrissy with the, the lizard? I just remember her tarantula. I do vaguely Because we came that. over to visit and we asked, oh, well, where's your tarantula? Because we'd like to see it in the box or in the cage. She's like, well, I'm not sure right now. It's like, um. Oh, my face gives me <laughs> And then we left. <laughs> when you find it, you let us know. We'll come back. No. <laughs> I guess you could. Oh. Don't want to step on it. There has been horror films based off of that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Sitting on the couch, mind nope. your own business. <laughs> you thought cocaine <laughs> bear was bad. <laughs> Loose tarantula. Loose tarantula. That could be a movie right there. <laughs> Snakes on a plane. Yeah. That's what you're all thinking right now. Snakes on a plane. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see. Dolphin Awareness Month. Good. Good. Um, oh, it's Gardening Nature and Ecology Books Month. Not Gardening Month. Well, because you got to get your books so books. you know what you're going to do. Prepare. Get your seedlings Prepare ready. for your goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Prepare for gardening. Yeah. Because I don't think our dirt is even wet enough to do a halt. Yeah. No. Or dry enough. No. Uh, it's all frozen. Yet. Mm -hmm. Um, listening awareness month. Mm, listening. That's but good. they don't know that it's quilting month. I mean, what Come on now. this is not just a monthly thing. This should be always. I don't know. It's March Madness. That's when you like choose which who's gonna basketball. Win. Basketball. Yeah. In the UK, it's National Bed Month. Like get a new mattress? I don't know. <gasps> it's National Caffeine Awareness Month. Uh, oh, it's caffeine awareness. I don't mind not like that. Is it because they're going to tell me caffeine's bad for me? They're probably going to make... Wait, let me take a slip to calm myself. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're going to make sure you like are aware of your intake of caffeine. How much you're getting. <laughs> I heard somebody call this their... their um, uh, um, don't murder anyone juicer. <laughs> Anti-murder anti juice. Anti-murder juice, yeah. 
People I'm live not because that I bad. drink this. No, that's not. That's I'm true. not that bad. That's true. Yeah, maybe. And maybe I should be more aware, but I... At this point, it's the whole old dog new tricks thing. What, what are you going to drink instead? You gave up soda pop. You don't drink any of that. No. And you, the only caffeine you get is coffee. And I don't drink that much. This cup is so cold. Yeah. Uh, it takes me a long true. time to drink it. That's true. And here we have <clears throat> National Crochet Month. We knew that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but, yeah. Nowhere does it say National Cool Thing. It's National Frozen Food Month. Ooh. Uh-uh. No. No, not a fan, really, of frozen food. Oh, it is also National Peanut Month. So not just Peanut Butter Month, it's National Peanut Wasn't Month. Wasn't it Peanut Butter Day? Did you say it was Peanut Butter Day? Oh, it has to be Peanut Butter Day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there you go. Ooh, I wonder if tomorrow's going to be like Peanut Brittle Day. Ooh. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> All right. Once you were just talking about it, she wants to decrease her sugar intake. I but do. I'm trying to decrease my sugar intake because... <clears throat> why well, not? I'm not going to tell you why. <laughs> <laughs> it's supposed to help all the way around. It's supposed to make, make you me feel, feel better. better. And inflammation. It's supposed to... Infl it's supposed to de... Because mm -hmm. sugar is... Um, cre creates inflammation. Mm -hmm. So you would have less inflammation if you have less sugar. Um, it also can be a little bit of a brain disruptor. Mm -hmm. We're not going to talk about this though. <laughs> <laughs> Cause some little sticky, sticky uh, circuits in there if you have, but I don't feel like we have too much sugar, but we no, talked about I this a lot the do. other day. And I think that it is true that Pa and I eat whatever we want, mm -hmm. you know, and we're not, you know, super concerned about bikini weather or whatever mm -hmm. but um but i don't think we it's eat super terrible a, but it's awareness just <clears throat> knowing right sugar awareness to feel to feel better but sometimes it could be yeah. just what's in your diet yeah yeah mm -hmm. so anyway and so she's gonna... not giving up coffee she'll give up some a piece of chocolate maybe yes. a piece of peanut, peanut butter every now and again I like peanut butter. <laughs> but that's funny. The, when the kids spent the night over at Mom's, I don't know, a couple weekends ago, before we left, I mean, our kids asked, like, every five minutes, are you leaving yet? Are you going? Are you staying? Why are you still here? Like, it was, like, Mom obvious. Mom goes so like, we can uh, start the food. There's the door. And why did I ask Tana? He wanted candy charcuterie board. Yes. He wanted yes. the candy with the tweezers, he called them, tongs. With yes. all the little kinds of candy. Yes. And, of course, he we had to make that. a... Our our charcuterie candy charcuterie. We have that much candy that we can easily make a candy charcuterie yeah. <laughs> board. I hadn't even planned it, and it was pretty easy to put that together. Yeah. Yeah. And it was really sweet. Maybe we already talked about this. He was upset because he thought he was going to stay four days. Yeah, they wanted to stay, like, four days. He's like, uh, Nana doesn't know this. We're going to pack for one. <laughs> you let her know. <laughs> Spring break is coming. <laughs> yeah. So they did get to come back for one more day, but... Yeah. She didn't yeah. have school on that Monday, but... Yeah. Yeah, bless their little heart. Yeah, it's pretty funny. I like that they like it there. It's fun. They're fun to have. Yeah. So They're good kids. Hilarious kids. What was it that Harper told us the other day? What she wanted to be when she grows up? Oh, God, it's so funny. I should have... She, she repeated it to Dad that you night. You need to get it. So I need to get it on tape. So I... When I dropped White off at school, we were driving away, and she's like, you know, Mom... You know what I want to be when I grow up? And I said, well, what do you want to be? I was thinking she was going to say, like, a, you know, dog, teacher. dog, teacher, someone with dogs. I mean, I don't know. I was expecting anything, but I want to be a queen. <laughs> and I was like, that is right. You just be a queen. And she's like, yeah, because I want servants. <laughs> so when I want a snack, they can get me a snack or a glass of water. <laughs> it's like, what? <laughs> it is just... Princess DNA. I mean, we talk about it all the time. Yeah. You you yeah. had the same thing. <laughs> Funny. It's like, well, you still have to learn numbers and go to school and be a queen, <laughs> but nice, right? Trying to get out of known numbers. It's fine. You kind of have to know someone to be a queen. Or marry someone. Yeah. So I, I want to know if she would repeat it back. So when you're we having dinner, I said, oh, Harper. Now that dad's home, tell dad what you want to be when you want to, when you grow up, what you want to be. And she got all, she was like, no, no, just tell him. I said, he's going to giggle like I did. But you just tell dad. And then, yeah, she said it the same way, a queen. So she has servants. 
Well, he calls her his princess. Right. So apparently she knows. Mm -hmm. And that's step. why she has to be Peanut. Yes. Because she can't be princess. No. Mm -mm. Because she's the princess. Yes. But she's very sweet to her. She's not. Oh, yeah. And neither of nice. the kids are. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they both love her. In fact, that was the funny thing. When they spent the night, when they woke up, they were missing Where's Peanut. Where's baby? Yeah. And that's where she says, where's Peanut? And dad says, and pa says, Peanuts. What? The baby. That's what they call the baby. <laughs> Peanut. Yeah. yeah. That's what they call the baby. Yeah. But, yeah, it's pretty funny. Because we were playing this weekend, or last weekend, uh, we got them some new games. There's like a kid Monopoly I think I was telling you that it's from like ages four to six or four to eight. Not such an extensive like old school Monopoly. We haven't even opened it, so we don't even know yet. But and we also got Sorry, and so we were teaching the kids how to play Sorry. Why it's great. I mean, he's um, he's good with his numbers. Yeah, he's really good with his numbers. He's a good sport. So even if you you know kick him back, or he's hilarious. Mm -hmm. So he does a good job. And Harper, we're working with her. Um, but so that's why her thing I think is now she wants to be a queen because she's only her numbers. Mm -hmm. I don't, shouldn't have to recognize what an eight looks like. No. Psh. Useless Why? information. Yeah. I don't even know that. I can count eight fingers. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Hold if them up. If someone else knows it for me, I don't that need is. to know all about these eights My, you speak of. I know. My servant can tell me. <laughs> I remember having that conversation in, um, I don't know what grade I was in when we were learning about the thorax of an of a bug, the three segments of, a, yeah. of an ant or whatever. It's like, why do I need to know that? What job will I have that I have to know that? <laughs> oh. There's a thorax and an abdomen and, a, you know, whatever yeah. they have. I'm not going to be See, I still don't know. Sucking bugs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or frogs. See, this conversation that everybody has. Yeah. Every child. But, yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah. The things Good that kids. say, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to have, somebody was asking too about Eliza. Eliza is going to this summer work work here at the shop a couple days a week. Um, we're still negotiating, not negotiating, I mean, we don't care. She can be here every day, but... Um, She's trying to plan her summer. Plan her summer a little mm -hmm. bit. She is a busy, busy girl, but she wants money. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. And child labor laws do not apply to family. Right. Which was super awesome. <laughs> I got duped. I mean, it's well, not like I won't out. pay her. But, I mean, because of course I'll pay her. But um, You don't have to do minimum wage. Yeah, you don't have to do. Well, I guess I was thinking, well, I probably won't do minimum wage. But, mm -hmm. but go in yardage of fabric. You don't have to worry about, you yeah. know how many hours you can work and I don't know it's a whole big thing now I don't know what yeah, it it's is it's crazy even if you are 16 but if you're still in school it's crazy you can't work past what 6 p.m. or yeah because we were looking I into it I think um, it makes it hard for somebody who really wants to have a job because they want to have a car and they want to right and they you know, themselves are super yeah. um super restricted mm -hmm. it's crazy um, and just for the employer, it makes it hard, which I think is why McDonald's now does not hire anybody under the age of 18, mm -hmm. which is too bad because here, that was one of you could do. McDonald's would hire anyone who had a driver's license, mm -hmm. and so did um, DK's. Oh, and DK's. DK's. I mean, they've sold hands already, but when we were in high school, that's where you could work. And as long as you didn't have a driver's license with him, you had to have a state ID, you had to be 15, mm -hmm. all of this stuff, and be able to get to work. Um, and they would be your kind of starter job places, and now everything has changed. Mm -hmm. Since minimum also, wage is so high, Washington State minimum wage is fifteen dollars an hour. Yeah, so it's a lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah, I mean I don't complain, but I'm just saying <laughs> it's a lot just starting. We also out don't the have any minimum wage employees. Here, yeah, so. But being just starting the workforce, not knowing yeah. the worth ethic, what is expected, mm -hmm. all of that, it's hard to train somebody how to be a good employee at fifteen dollars an hour well and also what do those teenagers do i mean if you don't have a job and you're not making some money to go do something else they're gonna be you know, i don't know i don't know what they're TikTok doing tick tock influencers tick tock that's what they're doing they're boogieing all i don't know i don't know well, i wonder if they can make money on TikTok. maybe how do you make money on TikTok? do you know i don't know but do you know so thomas carlos yes. he um wherever he's living with his wife or whatever, he makes a living. He can make a good wage. He does something online, like, Xboxy. Like, he... He is a gamer. He's a gamer making a livable wage. Isn't that crazy? I mean, it's totally not... Okay. <laughs> he's a gamer making a livable wage. Yeah. Playing games all day. Uh -huh. How do you make money at that? I don't know. I just know that that's how he makes his living. 
It's very incredible. Well, it's a funny thing because people... But you're really good at it. But it makes know. sense. I mean, him he, him and Jared are the same age. He used to always be buddies. He was really... I mean, that's what he loved to do. He was a computer geek. He could fix anything. He could build an, his own computer. He could do all of that. So, I mean, it fits in his line of what so, his interests are. So, but. Thomas, so um, Brianna's younger brother, mm -hmm. so same age. And so there was one summer where he wanted a job. Yeah. And so he came to PA and said, hey, um, you know, do you have anything I can do? Well, he didn't know anything mm -hmm. because that's all he was was a gamer. But he could work a shovel. So, you know, dad taught him to say mm -hmm. you dig a hole. So that's what he did all summer long. I'm um, out on the 7th. Yeah, family. on 7 He would dig a hole. Yep. Okay, I need it to be this far from here to here. Make sure that you have... Dad still remembers this thing. That's what he did. <laughs> dig it a hole. Dig it a hole. That was all. Yeah. But he worked. He showed up for work. He'd dig his hole. Yeah. And he made a wage, but... Yeah, I guess it makes sense if you can make a way, uh, make a living at that. Um, I uh, was the guest speaker at our little local uh, Rotary Club uh, last week, and we talked about quilts and quilting and mm -hmm. the retreat center because we have a second retreat center that we're opening. Um, we'll do a video for you guys. It'll be in about a month. Um, and so we talked about all of that, but they were very intrigued about the whole YouTube thing. Oh, you know, sure. And why will people come? And, you know, why do people come here? How do people know you? And it was kind of fun because two things. One thing is our local dentist said, yeah, I know something is kind of up because I he'd call and he would do something and talk to somebody from, you know, some other area. Oh, he must be consulting. He would say, maybe. Mm -hmm. I, I, he just, it, um, from people, he, that he would talk to somebody on the phone from, not from here. And he would say, oh, afraid. And he used to always have to say, oh, afraid. And he'd have to spell it and mm -hmm. to do whatever. And he said now, like, multiple times, which I don't know how many multiple times, but multiple times he has said from Efraid to Washington, and the person on the other end of the phone said, oh, is that where the fabric patch is? <laughs> is that fun? <laughs> yeah. I think that's really, really fun. I think that's kind of a cool thing. Yeah. And then, um, so they had a lot of questions about that, and I said, well, I think it's just, it's all the same thing. I mean, you know, the people that you want to talk to and the people you want to visit with, and we really are mm -hmm. friends. And so I think it's fun just to catch up a little bit, and, you know, we read your comments and yeah. we see things. It goes back to, so I think like someone, um, a, while, a while ago, asked if we were famous in our hometown, yeah. you know. <laughs> are you famous no. there? No. no. Our dentist is how to look us up. What do you mean the fabric patch? What is this fabric patch you speak of? Oh. oh it's down two blocks. Got it. It's literally a quilt store. I know. I know. No. I know. It's kind of funny. And it is yeah. kind of fun because every once in a while somebody will come in the store that has never been in here before. Yeah. And they've driven up from, you know, whatever. And we always say the same thing. Oh, my gosh. I wish we would have known you were coming. but And we would have made yeah. sure both of us were here. But but we love to visit. And we love to. We really do work in the store. That's the other funny thing is that I think there's a lot of people that they are YouTube personalities. But they um, are not. Uh, working, you know, they're yeah, yeah. they're doing something different, and obviously with us, we're not working enough because that brings us to the last thing, which is oh my gosh, this week, this is t today, is Brianna's first day back to work full time. Yeah, with baby in tow, baby has to come to work also, but mm -hmm. we are, uh, gosh, since December, since the middle of December, she has only done two days a week. She comes in and we would do the filming and then. Mm -hmm. home she mm -hmm. would go so now we are finally we've already got it on our schedule what we're doing and we're finishing up our blocks of the month we're starting our new ones because we've got um jay's bouquet i always want to call it jay's bouquet but i feel like i'm not right Is yeah that, yeah oh that's what it's called yeah the block of the month jay's bouquet. yes mm -hmm. so we'll be starting that and we are going to get caught up mm -hmm. and so, so um, yeah i think we have three blocks left of westport Mm -hmm. Plus um, our quick little finishing one. Um, that video will be really kind of short and sweet. We have a lot of other yeah. ones you can look for if you need more detailed information. And then, yeah, we have the two new ones. Jake's new take ones. and then color something. Color dance. Color dance. There you go. Yeah, we'll start those. And mm -hmm. super sorry. I'm hoping that uh, you don't get all hot and heavy into it just at the uh, same time gardening season starts, but that's the best thing about YouTube is that we'll get them up there and then you can um, pick up wherever you've left off. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we'll catch up with you and I, and I do apologize. a little that. tidbit, um, if you feel like, oh yeah, catching up, you know, it's hard to find where I left off. Um, oh, right. Here's a trick. So if you go to YouTube and you go to our 
page. So I actually click the fabric patch. I think it starts with our really long opening that introduces everybody. And then you can see all of our videos listed. Um, there's a scroll tab at kind of the top of there. If you scroll, there's a little tab that's called playlists. You can find a whole bunch. We have like Wednesday box openings, the Sunday box openings, um, the O Tenenbaum, all those playlists. What that means is O Tenenbaum video one to video eight are all right back to back to back to back to back. So same thing with West with Westport. If you really haven't ever started or you watch like the first three and now you're finally ready to actually start making some blocks but you want to refresh yourself, go ahead, go to playlists, look for Westport and you'll get block one, the introduction one, what you need to get your kit started or whatever, and then it'll go all the way through until the end. So that's a little trick to find everything instead of searching and then YouTube you know will regenerate after you've watched you know construction of block three. It's going to auto pick for you something else. It's not going to automatically pick necessarily you know um, block four. So yeah, a little, maybe that will help you. And maybe we'll start seeing uh, more. We're supposed to say you know welcome to our channel and please like and subscribe or whatever. We, we never think to say, we have to absolutely think to remember yeah. to say that because um, we're chatting. We're just yeah. We ain't got yeah. time for that business. And part. we're just thinking, y'all know who we are. <laughs> but um, yeah, but but we had somebody today who we talked to on the phone. <laughs> we talked to on the phone who wanted to know, well, how do I know when your videos come up? So of course we should be saying if you subscribe and if you hit that little mm -hmm. bell, then you'll know um, when they come up. And it's funny because that's the other thing. There. Um, um, I think Pa is again watching our box openings or something because normally we don't come up on my YouTube feed. Mm -hmm. So when we do start coming up, it's like, oh no. What's it like? Was I had a meeting last night and what were you watching? <laughs> I wasn't here. He missed you. I know it. Thought <laughs> you wanted to hear you talk. Don't listen to that voice. <laughs> I hear that enough. He watches us on mute, I'm sure. Yeah. But, um, but anyway, so uh, our box openings were coming up. Well, there was another one that I was watching. And it was kind of funny because I thought, oh, who is this? And so I was watching them. Uh, fun, um, um, two gals, uh, I don't think related at all. They didn't look anything alike. One was short and kind of dirty blonde colored hair. And one was tall and had dark hair and very different um, mm -hmm. features. So I don't think they were related. I think they were just business partners. But the funny thing was, so they showed their, I think they got like three boxes of Moda and one box of Riley Blake or whatever. Never, ever, said who they were. never said who they were. That's like us. Never yeah. said <laughs> how to order it, come into the store, never, ever said their names, anything. And I thought, oh, that's what we look like. That's, that's what why we, we need to say who we are because Somewhere I thought oh shoot there. if somebody just happened upon us they go who, who are these yahoos yeah and um, where are they from so anyway so uh, mm. after experiencing mm. it I thought oh yeah I might want to order that <laughs> know who you are yeah so anyway all right she's waking up she's awake again yeah yeah You're looking at that look at the little tattoo Just look at that. oh yep <laughs> <laughs> we should tell you about this go behind you um, Behind us. This is Jaybird fabric. This is the Stash Buster. Yeah. So we showed the kit a couple weeks, two weeks ago. And you took I this think. home and made it. And I made it. Yeah. Aww. So yeah, so I have the Stash Buster kits. Um, I think I have two left um, that you can do. Or um, I know the pattern also says that you can use it out of 12 fat quarters. All that does is it makes it a little bit more scrappier. Your big 12 and a half inch blocks, they're a little more scattered. You're gonna have different big blocks. Which I like that look. I think it's I, great. Are you gonna do a big picture at the end yeah. of it? I like that when your twelve and a, tw different. twelve inch finished blocks are different, and you don't have I just do one. Mm -hmm. But yeah. So because we do have some, I think I have two fat quarter packets left of Jaybird also. Oh, so good. if you feel like, oh, I really want to make it, but you messed it on the kits, um, you can do fat quarters, and then you can do other things too. Yeah, super great. Yeah. Mesmerized. All right. All right, we have a ton of boxes out there, some yeah. big ones. So we'll yeah, see what fun. those are, and we'll see you tonight. tonight. And uh, and newsletter, in case we forget, this week it'll this be week out. This week it'll be out. Because today is your first day back to work. Yeah, right. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> bye. All right, bye. Thank you for watching our video. We invite you to leave a comment, hit the like button, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you never miss an episode. You can also visit our Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or Pinterest pages, or find all of those things and our online store at fabricpatch.net.